Joe, you've lived a hard life, and yet the music you play on Portrait of an Artist seems smoother and even more lyrical than on some of your previous recordings. Is this true? What do you feel is better about this LP? I feel that uh, living that hard life is not so much as, as living the, the life of um, dedication to the music. And for the past 10 years, I, I've been dedicated to the music. Uh, I mean, as to the technique of the piano and things like that. I have a, I'm a little lazy, so it's not easy for me. But um, I went to York in 63 and stayed there about uh, 63, 73. God, what am I talking about? Time has fly. And uh, I used to make sure I practiced four hours or so every day, you know, because I had been neglecting all that, and uh, uh, I was getting a little ashamed of myself. Mm -hmm. So I put some time in there, and it's the time you put in that makes the music flow later on. Talent's one thing, but if you can't get the, uh, some, some technique to bring it out, mm -hmm. it's not going to mean anything either. And this instrument... Um, if you have to be, um, you have to learn how to work with it, and I don't know that I like it all the time, but um, uh, the idea of working with something mechanical mm -hmm. as opposed to being natural, I guess I don't know what I mean singing either, but... On Portrait of an Artist, uh, it seems like there's a real nice flow to it uh, on the whole. Oh, that was a nice feeling, yeah. It sounds like you're really prepared for this. Yeah. Well, I worked pretty hard. It was the first time us, uh, any of us played together, you know. Well, I played with Al one time. We were both working up at the uh, World Trade Center, Al Gaffer. But the other cast, it was the first time for all of us together. And But the, they're such pros that I think uh, they, when it needed to be together and gelling, mm -hmm. it was there. And something like that, you know, everybody gets down a little bit. Mm. Some get down more than others. But I felt that there was something going down, you know. Around 1977, it seems, that uh, you really started making a, a strong effort to uh, uh, learn the tunes and, and practice real hard and start really paying attention. 77? I think so, wasn't it? Wasn't it around there? Yeah, Just, well, I'd been to Europe and I came back to America in 78. I went to New York and spent three years there which is like a, you know, working in New York, you, you keep, keep you on your toes. Mm. And there's so many great cats there that blow. Mm. And because uh, there's just so many gigs. Mm. But um, it was a great experience. Do you, do you feel that uh, Portrait of an Artist is a, a better album than perhaps some of uh, your previous oh, albums? Oh, yeah, it's better by far. Uh, really, I I say this with uh, a lot of thought to it, because uh, I think that this one shows that uh, some some more than just uh, I like to blow type of thing, but it, more of a more preparation into it, which makes it like you know communicates better with your listeners. Back in the mid '40s, you hung out with Charlie Parker and played with him at the Spotlight in New York and at the Finale Club in L.A. Yeah. Uh, in your eyes, w what kind of a musician and human being was he? Why did Bird have such an impact? Well, he, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the, that's the $54,000 question, why people have an impact. I think that Bird did, I think it's a, it's a talent for communicating with people, and that talent is it's such a genius in it. It has to be. Uh, it's a gift of melodicness. He had that. And uh, he was a humble man, no matter what they tell you. I think. I don't want to talk about religion or anything. And yet, um, I have to talk about spiritualism of some kind. This man was humble before, before uh, what he believed, you know? Usually the, the that's a sign of genius, something like that. It is. the uh, So humble in the face of the spirit of music, maybe, is what... Well, no, it was, it, to me, I saw him as being humble in the face of God. 